This will be my UFC 126 preview. Uh, I have ordered this already, and I know it's MMA, and I talk about that also. I don't know how some people can't be fans of Japanese wrestling and MMA at the same time. It's kind of... Anyway, uh, the first bout will be a on the pre preliminary card on Facebook.com. UFC page. It's Kid Yamamoto versus Demetrius Johnson, and it's at I believe it's 135 pounds. This this should be fireworks in this. I can't. Yamamoto has already stated that he wants knockout of the night or fight of the night, and he's really hungry. So I hope he comes back strong because he's gonna need it against Demetrius Johnson. He's very very good. Just. You know, a little underrated. Yeah, that's at 8.25 Eastern Time. Facebook. UFC page. It's on one of the tabs. Then we have a preliminary card for Spike TV. Chad Money Mendez versus Michihiro Omigawa. <laughs> I don't know who to pick in this. Uh... Mendez is a great wrestler, but he showed that he can also strike and do some pretty crazy stuff. The guy's a natural athlete. Having said that, Omigawa is a warrior. He's got fighting spirit, and he's perfect at 145. Yeah, this this fight could go either way. Pulling for Omigawa, though. Then we have a lightweight bout on Spike TV. The cowboy Donald Cerrone, one of the most exciting fighters in the world, and one of the most well-rounded, versus Paul Kelly from England. I got Cerrone in this one, but I expect a really good fight. Then we have the main card on pay-per-view at 10. Uh, the first uh, fight, likely, in the Bantamweight bout is Miguel Angel Torres versus Antonio Banuelos. Uh... Manuelos is kind of strong where Torres is showing weakness, sort of, in wrestling. But I, Miguel Torres, I honestly think is the best fighter in WEC, maybe in all of MMA. He, <laughs> he trained himself, and he became legendary. Nobody does that. Not now. But now that he's got a great camp behind him, He's working with guys like GSP. I don't see any way Torres is losing. I predict he'll get the belt by next year. Now we have a lightweight bout between two guys from wrestling backgrounds. One, the guy, he's kind of gritty, gets it done, has a lot of power in his hands, and Ryan Darth Bader. And then we have the exciting, the, the star, John Bones Jones. This guy throws spinning elbows. The craziest high kicks, the craziest trips, bridging German suplex, Stefan Bonner. I mean, this guy pretty much does whatever he wants. I, if he gets too cocky and throws a spinning back elbow and he doesn't quite get the speed on it, I could see Bader tagging him and putting him to sleep. But I still got Jones in this. I think he's at least five years away from where he can go with his potential. It, it, yeah. John Jones is going to be unstoppable. He already is. And then we have a welterweight belt be, bout between Jake Ellenberger and Carlos Eduardo Roca. Uh, it's going to be hard to beat Ellenberger, but I want Carlos to do this. I like to see some good submissions. Then we have about lots of people I'm looking forward to. Forrest Griffin versus Rich Franklin. They've had uh, kind of similar careers, different styles though. They both they both got that workman. Well, just get in there and do it, even if the guy's technically more skilled than you or whatever. You just go and you outwork them. They both have that. Uh, Gr Griffin doesn't have the footwork. Franklin has, and he's heavier, so look for Franklin to use his footwork and speed. 
Uh, look for Forrest to kind of maybe push it up against the cage, clinch, get the takedown, throw some ground and pound. Just, I, I expect a three round war. I don't see anyone finishing in this one, but it's going to be good. Then we have the big fight the middleweight championship of the world, UFC. The challenger, Vitor Belfort, the phenom, man who once knocked out Manderley Silva and Rich Franklin in like no time. And when he, he was. Uh, he won the light heavyweight title when he was like a kid. So. He definitely has a shot. He has the knockout power. He has the technique. He's like Mike Tyson. Pinpoint and powerful, which is dangerous. But he's going against the best pinpoint striker in the game. The spider, Anderson Silva, the champ. I got Silva in this one, but I could see it going either way. Uh, this is a stat card. <laughs> you, you can't do much better than this. I can't see any fan not ordering this and then calling themselves a true fan. I know there's a heavyweight Grand Prix coming up in Strike Force with a Fedor, Verdum, Uberim, you know, all that, but I still think this is a better card. Lots of great former WEC guys on it. So even if the big stars don't perform quite like they should, the little guys will never fail to, to excite. Alright, you guys take it easy. Uh, enjoy the fights.